You guys know what time it is, don't you? You hear the music creeping up? First Friday of the new year, and what are we doing? We are checking out Star Wars Episode 2! Attack of the Clones. Don't believe the lies to see. Super pumped for today. We are making our way through Star Wars. We are on Attack of the Clones right now, like I just fucking said. But this is intriguing for me because I know that there is an entire project or show called The Clone Wars. So I, I think if I'm guessing, which we know how guessing has gone for me in the past with this series. If I'm guessing, I think that this will be the start of The Clone Wars. Maybe what instigates the wars? I'm not sure. One thing that I am sure of is I'm ready. And guys, if you want access to these full length movie reactions before they release on YouTube, I'm going to leave the link to the Patreon down below. And uh, let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna close the door so nothing is to disturb my movie watching pleasure. Ow! Okay, my kneecap is shattered. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Actually, I'm gonna, I'd like to move this light. Uh, Aaron, don't put any of this in there. Motherfucker! Uh -huh. Made all the difference. Okay. Actually. No, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Show me the logo! A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away! <laughs> me so pumped up, dude. I love this shit. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. The Separatist movement under the leadership of the mysterious Count Dooku. Dooku? Fuck. Has made it difficult for the limited number of Jedi Knights to maintain peace and order in the galaxy. Senator... Senator Amidala thought she was a fucking queen. The former... The former Queen of Naboo is returning to the Galactic Senate to vote on the critical issue of creating an army of the Republic to assist the overwhelmed Jedi. I'm excited to see Natalie Portman. I think my gooch is too. It's tingling, baby! Too much caffeine. Chill. Big ass spacecraft. <laughs> Every single Star Wars reaction starts the same way. So I believe this is set 10 years in the future from the last movie. So Anakin's probably a teenager, probably got some uh, raging sexual hormones flooding through his body. Unless he's underage and then all of the comments are gonna say, what a fucking creep I am. Nonetheless. <laughs> what up, R2? I guess I was wrong. There was no danger at all. Fuck! Oh my god! I literally just turned the volume all the way up. Oh my god. Corday. I found you, Senator. Okay, who the hell's Corday? And what's the difference between Queen and Senator? Seems like Queen is up here and now she's Senator. Did she get the boot? You must realize there aren't enough Jedi to protect the Republic. We're keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Master Yoda, do you think it will really come to war? Impossible to see. The future is. What do you think, phallic faced man? We will discuss this matter later. Wait, wait, wait. Dude behind the desk in the black cloak looks like he has the same face as Darth Vader's master? I don't know. I think the Count Dooku is behind it. He is a political idealist, not a murderer. Shut up, penis. May I suggest the senator be placed under the protection of your graces? Like. Master Kenobi. Yeah, this dude has the same creepy dinosaur teeth and the same protruding mouth as the hooded Vader boss. <laughs> that was my impression of him. I will have Obi-Wan report to you immediately, my lady. You seem a little on edge. Not at all. My man's You're got sweating. a space mullet right yes. here, dude. And again, that stupid fucking rat tail. Jar Jar! <laughs> I get it that a lot of people fucking despise Jar Jar. I don't mind 
of maybe that speaks to my childlike demeanor and, and mannerisms and, and thought process. It's a great pleasure to see you again, my lady. It has been far too long, Master Kenobi. Annie, my goodness, you've grown. Oh, that's Anakin? Now Anakin's got the dumbass rat tail. Annie will always be that little boy I knew on Tatooine. Why does your facial expression tell me that you want to suggestively touch the boy that you always knew in Tatooine? I don't need more security. I need answers. I want to know who's trying to kill me. We're here to protect you, Senator, not to start an investigation. We will find out who's trying to kill you, Padme. Look at Anakin's eye contact. You see that? He's like... I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This has failed me in the past, but, uh, old Senator here and, uh, Anakin going to, uh... Perhaps with merely your presence, a mystery surrounding this threat will be revealed. Tell me how everybody has aged 10 years, and Senator Chick looks like she reversed an age. I've thought about her every day since we parted, and she's forgotten me completely. No, she hasn't. Anakin, did you see the way she was looking at you? It's like when Harry looked at Romilda Vane. I hit the ship, but they used a decoy. We'll have to try something more subtle this time, Sam. Be careful, they're very poisonous. Wait, what were those little space bugs? What's going on? Well, she covered the cameras. I don't think she liked me watching her. What is she thinking? Well, she programmed how old are you now? 16, 17? What are you gonna do with a camera just following her around? You're gonna beat your saber. Everyone knows it. It's too risky. Besides, your senses aren't that attuned to my young apprentice. And yours are. Possibly. Yeah. Why would Anakin say that? Obviously, Obi-Wan's skills are like far superior to Anakin's. I don't sleep well anymore because of your mother. I don't know why I keep dreaming about her. Cause you miss her, dude. It's your mom. What the hell? Ew. Ew. It just shit out little space caterpillars. Don't tell me those are gonna climb into R2 and corrupt him. Oh, those are gonna climb into, those are climbing into Amidala? Ew. I think he's a good man. My, I sense it too. Would she not wake up? Oh, damn. Damn, Obi-Wan didn't give a fuck. Boy jumped straight through the glass. Dude, I'd be afraid they would. that thing would drop little centipedes on me then. Oh shit. That's how good Anakin's got you, right? Right? Okay, good. Nice. What took you so long? Oh, you know, Master. I couldn't find a speeder that I really liked. Spent as much time practicing your saber techniques as you knew your witch you would rival Master Yoda as a swordsman. <laughs> I thought I already did. Hold up, Anakin. Hold up. <laughs> Anakin, you reckless ass little bastard. How many times I told you? Oh, hey, away from power the coupling. What do those do? Is it just electrocute you or does that have does that have deeper consequences than that? Where are you going? He went that way. Master, <laughs> if we keep this chase going any longer, that creep is gonna end up deep fried. We're taking a joyride, Baba! I think that was some shortcut, Anakin. He went completely the other way. If you'll excuse me. What the hell? <laughs> I hate it when he does that. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? <laughs> okay, that is impeccable timing. Unless he just grabbed onto the first thing he could find. Oh, nope, it's the exact ship he needed. I want to take a guess at who that is, but I don't want to be a fucking idiot. <laughs> She just hopped out of that like it was nothing. Do they even have seatbelts in those spacecrafts? <laughs> Tangle this little bitch, Anakin! She went into the club, Master. Patience. Use the force. You went in there to hide, not to run. Yes, Master. It's a she. Next time, try not to lose it. This weapon is your life. Why do I get the feeling you're going to be the death of me? You're the closest thing I have to a father. <laughs> then why don't you listen to me? <laughs> I am dry. Well, yeah. oh shit! A little space strip club we got going on here, huh? Can you see him? I think he is a she, and I think she's a changeling. Changeling? In case be extra careful. What does that mean? She can change into different shit? 
You wanna buy some death sticks? You don't want to sell me death sticks. I what? don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna buy some death sticks? Ew, stop! Stop talking like that. So I, I've heard the term Jedi mind tricks, and I guess it's pretty easy to tell, but like what just happened with Obi-Wan Kenobi, that was a Jedi mind trick, right? Just telling people what to think and they end up doing that? Jedi business, go back to your drinks. Do you know who it was you were trying to kill? Who I heard you? Tell us. Tell us now! <laughs> it was a bounty hunter called... Oh my god. Okay, good thing I didn't guess who the hell that was. It would have made me seem stupid as shit. Glad I didn't say that. Toxic dot. What the hell? Track down this bounty hunter. You must, Obi-Wan. What about Senator Amidala? Handle that. Your Padawan will. <laughs> By himself? Go to the Senate and ask Chancellor Palpatine to speak with her about this matter. What do you guys do all day? Is You just have constant meetings of people coming in or y'all just sit in your chairs talking shit for half the day? Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> I am concerned for my Padawan. His abilities have made him, well, arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> if the prophecy is true, your apprentice is the only one who can bring the force back into balance. But, okay, so Jedis are naturally arrogant and egotistical, sure. But I feel like especially in Anakin's case, because think about it, he was a slave his entire life, and then one day someone comes by and is like, Hey! You're the one true badass fucking Jedi! You're more powerful than anybody else! And then he comes here and learns, and, and how is he not supposed to be egotistical like that? It makes total sense knowing his background, right? I do not like this idea of hiding. It won't take Master Obi-Wan long to find this bounty hunter. Sometimes we must let go of our pride and do what is requested of us. Anakin, you've grown up. <laughs> and you haven't. Why? Obi-Wan is a great mentor. As wise as Master Yoda and as powerful as Master Windu. But? I am truly thankful to be his apprentice. I sense a but. I'm really ahead of him. I'm ready for the trials, but he feels that I'm too unpredictable. You are. He's overly critical. He doesn't understand. It's not fair. Isn't there a reason he's your mentor, you jack fuck? Cause he knows better than you. Don't try to grow up too fast. But I am grown up. You said it yourself. I've reached the age of consent now, mama. Sorry, milady. Oh, dude, you've got the evil ass look in your eye right now. The darkness is starting to creep out. You can tell. I really do like the casting for older Anakin, though, because he's an extremely good looking dude right now, right? And he was an absolutely adorable kid. So that natural progression checks out. And I think that he just has that type of energy that Anakin needs. So far, I've watched, what, 30 minutes of the movie? So what the hell do I know, but... Anakin, may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you, Master. Is this a case of Anakin with his power and glory being too suppressed? It's like an overprotective parent where they shelter the kid and they never let the kid party or drink or do drugs. Not that parents should do that, but I mean, arguably depending on the parent, I don't know. But then when they go to college, that sheltered kid fucking blasts out and develops problems because they were so suppressed that then they break free and do whatever the hell they want. Is that what happens here with the dark side? Obi-Wan! Hello, Dex. I wouldn't necessarily want an obese, large, <laughs> slimy lizardman making my food. But we'll give him the benefit of the- Do you just pull- Dude, ew, your ass is out! <laughs> no. What can I do for you? You can tell me what this is. What do you know? I love Where how he has a mustache. This baby belongs to them cloners. Damn good ones, too. Cloners? Are they friendly? Oh, it depends on how good your manners are. How big your pocketbook is. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you need some chapstick. Jesus. I'm looking for a planetary system called Kamino. It should appear in this quadrant here, just south of the Rishi Maze. I hate to say it, but it looks like the system you're searching for doesn't exist. Okay, how and is that? Perhaps the archives are incomplete. If an item does not appear in our records, it does not exist. Nah. 
That's not true. I'm also really impressed with this movie, and it's like there's so much that goes into the film in the edit. I'd imagine all the CGI, all the shit added, all the crazy characters and stuff, and the actors in this movie do such a good job of acting like those things are all surrounding them. It's just really impressive to me. Something like this, it's like they do such a good job of actually putting themselves in the scene when actually when they're filming, nothing's really going on there. It'd be difficult having sworn your love to the Jedi, not being able to visit the places you like or do the things you like. I want to be with the people that I love. Are you allowed to love? Compassion, which I would define as unconditional love, is central to a Jedi's life. He's spitting some game, dude. Just can't be attached. You gotta have like six, seven wives. You're exactly the way I remember you in my dreams. Do not bite your lips around her, dude. I can feel the sexual tension, and I can't tell if I like it or if it's making me uncomfortable. Younglings, a visitor we had. Hello, Master Obi-Wan. What the hell kind of kid is this? What help can I be? I'm looking for a planet described to me by an old friend. Hmm. Lost a planet Master Obi-Wan has. How embarrassing. How <laughs> embarrassing. It ought to be here. But it isn't. How can this be? Master? Because someone erased it from the archive memory. <laughs> Pretty good guess. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Go to the center of gravity's pull and find your planet. You will. Go to the center of gravity's pull. But Master Yoda, who could empty information from the archives? That's impossible, isn't it? Someone high up. It's the main cloaked dude, isn't it? The one with the dinosaur teeth. Whoa, this is so cool. I love all the scenery in this movie. It's so fun to watch, so fun to look at. I wasn't the youngest queen ever elected, but now that I think back on it, I'm not sure I was old enough. I heard they even tried to amend the constitution so you could stay in office. I was relieved when my two terms were up. Oh, so she has two terms and then goes to Senator, got it. The day we stop believing democracy can work is the day we lose it. Let's pray that day never comes. Who do you guys pray to? Is that a dumb question? Oh, Anakin's not a Jedi yet. He's still a Padawan learner. Excuse me. I'm in charge of security here, milady. And this is my home. I know it very well. That is why we're here. Anakin, let go of your ego, dude. You are still learning. It's like when some dumbass teenager gets behind the wheel and they have this invincibility mindset. Yeah, we're 160 down 30 MPH zone. Dumbass. Master Jedi. The hell are you? After all these years, we were beginning to think you weren't coming. <laughs> that thing's got a longer neck than me. You will be delighted to hear that we are on schedule. On schedule for what? 200,000 units are ready with a million more well on the way. Please tell your master, Cypher Diaz, that his order will be met on time. Master Cypher Diaz was killed almost 10 years ago. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm sure he would have been proud of the army we've built for him. One of the finest we've ever created. How many Master damn armies have y'all made? Just a bunch of armies gallivanting around? What do you mean, one of the greatest you've made? We used to come here for school retreat. Damn, she looks, uh, she looks pretty good. How old is she? Can someone let me know that? So I can either continue to make jokes or stop making jokes? I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Fast forward 10 years to Attack of the Clones, the entirety of the movie takes place, which would make Padme 24 years old and Anakin 19. We can make jokes! Oh God. Oh! <laughs> that actually gave me chills, dude. <laughs> oh. I shouldn't have done that. Y'all gave in to the darkness. Although, look at that. How can you not kiss in front of a scene like that? If I were with fucking Bob Saget, I'd start making out with them in front of there. Clones can think creatively. You will find that they are immensely superior to droids. They are totally obedient, taking any order without question. That is we terrifying. We their genetic structure to make them less independent than the original host. And who was the original host? A bounty hunter called Django Fett. Django Fett? What is his relation to Boba? Oh my god. Magnificent, aren't they? Oh my god. You're gonna use one of your Jedi mind tricks on me? No, they only work <laughs> Probably. on Probably. All right. 
Damn, she looks good. His name is Paolo. We were both in the legislative youth program. Dark curly hair, dreamy eyes. All right, I get the picture. <laughs> Anakin, shut the fuck up, dude. Just because she says someone else is attractive doesn't mean that you aren't. Although the more I get to know you and your personality, the less attractive you become. We need a system where the politicians sit down and discuss the problem. The trouble is that people don't always agree. Well, then they should be made to. By whom? Who's gonna make them? <laughs> Force know. people to agree? Someone. Doesn't that defeat the purpose of agreeing on something? Sounds an awful lot like a dictatorship to me. Yeah. Well, if it works. Anakin, tuck your darkness back in, dude. It's unsettling to see that. If a dictatorship works. Oh, what are these bulbous fat pig creatures? He's hurt because he fell off a fat pig. <laughs> Annie, are you all right? <laughs> oh, he's not hurt. You just wanted to get her laying down on top of you, you pervert. <laughs> and it works. Boba, is your father here? That's Boba Fett? Sure. Your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. Ever made your way as far into the interior as Coruscant? Possibly. Such weird energy, dude. I have mass amounts of confusion in my head right now. Just trying to, after just seeing all of these movies only one time, and just think about, you guys know how much I've missed. Just in terms of, there's so much jam-packed in these movies, you can't possibly glean everything from the first watch. What is it, Dad? Pack your things. We're leaving. Where are you going? So I'm like trying to figure out all these things. Young Boba Fett. I'm like, all right, what does that mean? Where have I seen Boba Fett before? What the fuck's going on? You just took her pair? You just took her pair. <laughs> that was a weird bite. <laughs> oh God, y'all are on the couch by the fire. She's got a strapless top on. A day has gone by when I even thought of you. Especially when you're wearing a dress where I can see your upper boobs. I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. My heart is beating, hoping that that kiss will not become a scar. Dude, you're speaking like fucking poetry, dude. I will do anything that you ask. Anything? If you're suffering as much as I am, please tell me. She's not. We live in a real world. If you follow your thoughts through to conclusion, it'll take us to a place we cannot go. Good for you, Padme. Good for being strong. You are asking me to be rational. <laughs> and Lord knows I'm not rational. I wish that I could just wish away my feelings, but I can't. It's called self-control, Anakin. I will not give in to this. Good. Although, can you blame him? It's Natalie Portman. We could keep it a secret. We'd be living a lie. I couldn't do that. Could you, Anakin? Could you live like that? Yeah, darkness is consuming him. Anakin, you're at a critical part in your life, dude. It's the easy thing, it's the desires, it's the lust. It's all coming at you, dude, it's all darkness. Shut it off, shut it down. I mean, we know what happens, but it's just frustrating to see it happen when there's nothing we can do. They are using a bounty hunter named Jango Fett to create a clone army. Do you think these cloners are involved in the plot to assassinate Senator Amidala? No, Master, there appears to be no motive. There's always a motive. They don't just create a giant clone army with no motive. Did the council ever authorize the creation of a clone army? No, whoever placed that order did not have the authorization of the Jedi Council. Well, it's the person fucking in charge of the Jedi Council. Blind we are. With creation of this clone army, we could not see. Wait, why did their ability to use the Force? No. Fourth. It doesn't make sense that the most powerful beings that are able to use the Force couldn't see what was going on right in front of them. Jesus, why are you showing up like this? Just put on. She's gorgeous! You had another nightmare last night. Jedi don't have nightmares. Well, you had one. I guess that means you're not a Jedi. Just a little Padawan bitch. I saw my mother. Oh, Anakin. She's in pain. Why is she suffering in pain? I'm disobeying my mandate to protect you, Senator, but I have to go. What? I'll go with you. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't have a choice. I don't think that's the responsible thing to do. Obi-Wan's telling you you're not ready for responsibilities like this, and you're like, yes I am! I'm Anakin! And this proves that you're not. All right, get your Mandalorian helmet looking ass back here. We're taking you back to where we're from. Oh, not good. Wait, is that? Oh, that's attached to his arm, yeah? 
Use the force or something, right? Okay. All right. Django thinks Obi-Wan's dead. Think again, bitch. What the hell is that, a tracker or an explosive? Okay. Is this the first movie that Goldman's not in? That would really bum me out. Oh, this dumbass dude. Wait, we're back at Anakin's ha home where his mom is. So that means we're gonna see Goldman. I hope. You are an this you. <laughs> I don't know if Anakin should hug this guy or punch him square in his dick shaped nose because this guy was his slave owner, right? She's not mine no more. I sold her. You sold her? To whom? I sold her to a moisture farmer named uh, Lars. Lars? Okay. <laughs> We've been tracked. Hang on, son. We'll move into the asteroid field, and we'll have a couple of surprises for you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Boba. Seismic charges. This guy. Get him, Dad! Get him! Fire! Shut up, Boba! Shoot him, Dad! Fire! It's crazy that device has such heat seeking powers that it can just dip and dive through all these asteroids. Well, we won't be seeing him again. Yeah, you will. Stay with the ship, R2. Aw, he wants to tag along. Let him come. R2's so cute. <gasps> Hello. Goldman! Service. I am yes! Hello. She's like Blackman right now, but... Goldman, what you been doing all here by yourself, dude? Come to see my mother. I think perhaps we better go indoors. I'm Anakin Skywalker. Owen Lars. This is my girlfriend, Baru. Hey, you're Lars. I thought you married his I mom. I'm your stepbrother. Oh, okay. That's the Three okay. Lars. That's the Lars. Me is my wife. Okay. We should go inside. We have a lot to talk about. Did she die? She died, didn't she? She fucking died. From the tracks, she was about halfway home. Thirty of us went out after her. Four of us came back. Wow. I don't want to give up on her. But she's been gone a month. So Anakin's nightmares were accurate that she's actually in trouble. Wow. Where are you going? To find her. Mother. Yeah. Your mother's dead, son. Oh. He doesn't think she is. Is she actually dead? Damn! What are you doing to us? I'm trying to focus on the movie and the plot. Can't be walking out like that. Okay, well. There's the darkness I see in your eyes. It's nice that you're trying to avenge what happened to your mom, but it's gonna take a toll on you, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna venture a guess. Does Anakin go to the dark side to save his mom? That's the deal. You get your mom if you come and join the dark side. That's my guess. His mom could very well be fucking dead for all I know, but. <gasps> oh. Oh shit. She does not look good. She looks drugged out, dude. He did tell you he'd come back for you. Oh, you look so handsome. I missed you. I love Stay with me, Mom. Oh my God, she's gonna I die. I love Oh! Oh, that was sudden. Holy shit. Oh god, there's the darkness. Oh god, there's the darkness, he's pissed! I felt like that would have been a much more emotional moment. I don't know if the mom wasn't like, I love... <laughs> it's just a little, uh, I don't know. What is it? Pain. Suffering. It's Anakin's pain and suffering and his mom's death. The transmitter is working, but we're not receiving a return oh, signal. Fuck. I just spilled my coffee everywhere. God damn it. <laughs> Anakin, do you copy this? No, is Anakin's not going to be any help right now because his judgment is clouded by the dark side. Ew. That's Anakin's tracking signal, all right, but it's coming from Tatooine. What in the blazes is he doing there? Well, I mean, you, you should have known that anything you told him, he was going to probably do the opposite. 
Oh God, he's gonna be a different person. Okay, so my uh, guess was wrong about Anakin joining the dark side to save his mother. Life seems so much simpler when you're fixing things. Dude, she brought you food, that's so sweet. Why couldn't I save her? You're not all powerful. Anymore. Well, I should be. No, you shouldn't. Someday I will be. No, I you will won't. Be the most powerful Jedi ever. I will even learn to stop people from dying. It's all Obi Wan's fault. He's jealous. How? He's holding me back. No, he's not. Anakin, you're starting to piss me off, dude. I killed them. Killed who? I killed them all. Killed who? Oh, and oh. Not just the men. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I know who. But the women and the children too. Sick fuck. They're like animals, and I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them. Okay, maybe it's time to get the fuck away from Anakin because the darkness has completely consumed him now. At least the vast majority of him. You slaughtered women and children just because they were part of the kind that captured your mom? I mean, that's that really is sad, and I feel for him. And losing a parent is never easy, but god damn, dude, you just committed genocide. I wasn't strong enough to save you, mom. Dude. Did you drop that? You couldn't have saved her. Extremely frustrating. I miss you. Aww. So much. R2? What are you doing here? He's it got a message. He is carrying a message from an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Does that name mean anything to you? He's gonna say no. Oh. I have tracked the bounty hunter Django Fett to the droid foundries in Geonosis and are forming a... Wait. <laughs> Oh, shit. Anakin, we will deal with Count Dooku. Protect the senator at all costs. Annie, are you just gonna sit here and let him die? You heard Master Windu. He gave me strict orders to stay here. He gave you strict orders to protect me. And she's gonna go. And I'm going to help She's him. gonna go. Dude, she's so clutch. Such a real one. I love her. I've never flown before. I'm so happy we get Goldman in this movie, too. Traitor. It's a great pity that our paths have never crossed before, Obi-Wan. Qui-Gon always spoke very highly of you. You forget that he was once my apprentice, just as you were once his. Damn, it's crazy to see the, the ladder. The ladder of apprentice, apprentice and apprenticey. Man, it's crazy to see the ladder. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? The Jedi would be aware of it. The dark side of the Force has clouded their vision, my friend. Oh. Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of a Sith Lord called Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious? I don't believe you. That's why nobody fucking knew what was going on. I will never join you, Dooku. Dooku. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to get out of the current situation Maybe you're in. to secure your release. <laughs> Yeah, you should have said you'll join him and then just fucking dip after he lets you out. Misa propose that the Senate give immediately emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. Who the hell made Jar Jar the spokesperson? The dude can't even speak. I love democracy. I love the Republic. But right now it's time for dictatorship. I will lay down when this crisis has abated. Will you? As my first act with this new authority, I will create a grand army of the Republic. <sighs> I will take what Jedi we have left and go to Geonosis and help Obi-Wan. Visit, I will. The cloners on Kamino. Look, whatever happens out there, follow my lead. My obtuse little friend, if they had needed our help, they would have asked for it. You obviously have a great deal to learn about human behavior. No, Goldman, you do. People don't ask for help. People ask for help in situations where they can help themselves, and in situations where they need help, they stay silent. That's how humans work. We're idiots. Really. You don't know what's out there. Have you no sense at all? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> It wouldn't be a good Star Wars movie if you didn't have R2 and Goldman banter. Ew. Oh shit, oh! Okay, so far so good. Oh my good. Shut me down. Machines making machines. How perverse. How perverse. You get your chance to <laughs> Ew. 
It seems like this, with so much going on, so much machinery and special effects everywhere, that I would be so interested to see how they shoot this, film this, and edit it. I wonder what happened to poor little Artu. He's always getting himself into trouble. <laughs> oh no! It's only funny because you can put his head back on. Oh, he's gonna get one of them heads? Uh -oh. I'm so confused. What the hell? Oh shit. You better get the hell out of there. Obviously. No shit. <gasps> nice! Good job, R2! I think every single movie we've seen, now correct me if I'm wrong, but R2 has saved the day in every single Star Wars movie, right? Oh damn, I didn't know you could break I didn't know you could break lightsabers like that. Don't move, Jedi. Is that fit? Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid to die. Oh. I've been dying a little bit each day since you came back into my life. Is that supposed to be a romantic thing or like a actual Maybe. death thing? Oh, it's a romantic thing. I told you she was looking at you in a lustful way. You can't help your feelings. I truly love you. Your rat tail's ugly as fuck. Oh god, that is uh... ah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I like that. That's a beautiful couple, honestly. It it literally gives me chills again. What the hell is this? What is this? The damn space coliseum? That little smirk. I can't tell if that was an evil smirk or like a, I got you, hang on. Smirk. I was beginning to wonder if you'd got my message. I retransmitted it just as you would request it, Master. Then we decided to come and rescue you. You're gonna say your plan out Good loud job. like that? Can these disgusting flying hell bat creatures understand English? <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God. It's a giant rhino lizard. Ew, it's like a fucking dragon praying mantis dragon crab. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. People and human, like, humans are so fucked up. I mean, these, these things in the crowd aren't humans, they're alien entities, but humans are fucked up. We just like to see things get destroyed and killed and fight. Why is that? Just relax, concentrate. What about Padme? She seems to be on top of things. Literally. <laughs> Oh, shit, yeah, smack that little devil. Oh! Which one of those would you guys want to take on? I think I'd like to take on this little rhino lizard. He seems dumb as shit. Certainly not that thing. Although I feel like that thing, you just scratch under his, you just scratch him on the neck and he'd be like, <laughs> Ew, fuck that praying mantis. Kiss on the cheek. Oh, yeah, now you just threw your weapon away. We got Sam Jack sneaking out. Let's go. Dude, that's sick. He's got a purple lightsaber. Brave, but uh, you're impossibly outnumbered. Bitch, we got an army. Damn. I like how this giant rhinoceros thing doesn't attack anybody anymore. He's just automatically good. Maybe he's under the force, but... I must need maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on in this scene when they're filming? I'd love to know. What's your little boba ass gonna do? Uh, a battle! Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I'm programmed for etiquette, not destruction. <laughs> And all these crazy ass leapfrog jumps that these guys can do, that's the force, right? It's not like people just have an abnormal ability to jump. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay, he's bad again. Oh. Strample him. What the hell does strample mean? What is that? Uh, what is that word? St uh, trample. Oh. Holy shit! Oh shit, Boba Fett just saw his dad get murdered right in front of him. Die, Jedi gods! <laughs> what did I say? I love that. That's hysterical. I love how polite Goldman is. It makes me just love him so much. I'm not programmed to fight, I'm programmed for etiquette. Call this a diplomatic solution? No, I call it aggressive negotiations. Okay, taking a little bit of darkness from Anakin, I like it. Damn. Stab him in the face! Nice. Artu, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Oh, stop that. You're getting strained something. My hand! <laughs> oh, 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 now, where are you taking me? This is such a drag. Nice. Such a drag. Okay. The cheesiness works out there. I like that. Wow. Master Windu! Surrender, and your lives will be spared. I don't understand why, if these people have the ability to use the force, why they don't just knock the entire army down? Send that fucking- Oh, let's go! Let's go! Surround the survivors a perimeter create. Yoda coming in clutch as hell. Oh, wow. But seriously, couldn't they just go and everybody falls down? Seems like they don't use the force wisely in these movies. <laughs> oh, that's actually sad. Now, I, I never know. I guess we're gonna find out. But Boba Fett is bad, I guess. Aim right above the fuel cells. Wow. Good call, my young Padawan. Wow. Look at that. Anakin's teaching you something now. The Jedi have amassed a huge army. <laughs> Fucked up, what are you saying? Dude, all the explosions in these in these later movies are so cool. I, I guess earlier movies. Chronologically later movies, earlier timeline movies. <laughs> I will take the designs with me to Coruscant. They would have been much safer there. The Death the Star? Master. For your master? Who the hell is your master? Concentrate all your fire on the nearest starship. Okay, so Yoda and all these people that can use the Force in such a crazy way and who have mastered it, does that automatically give them mass amounts of strate war strategy? I don't know. Aaron probably don't even use that. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh shit! Bye bang! Put the ship down! Anakin, don't let your personal feelings get in the way! Yeah, think with your brain, not your dick! It's essentially what Obi-Wan is saying. Over the ship! I can't take Tuku alone! I need you! I don't care! Put the ship down! Come to your senses! What do you think Padme would do with she in your position? Y'all don't have time to reason through this! Anakin, make a decision and jump off the ship or help him fucking fight. And something tells me because there is the Clone Wars that he's gonna jump off the damn ship. Okay, I was wrong again. My natural instincts in this series? Abysmal. Total shit. We'll take him together. You're going slowly on the left. Taking him now! No, Anakin, no! Anakin. No! Dumbass. Anakin, you dumbass! That was sick. Red lightsaber. Are you all right? Yeah, she's fine. That's why she's going. Get a transport. Hurry. Right away. Her running form. <laughs> Ah! Ah! 
Oh shit. Anakin, do something, dude. Clutch! Anakin! Oh! Two lightsabers, that's sick! Okay, one. That's uh, still cool. That's why he had to have the fucking mechanical arm. Who's creeping in? Yoda. Do we get to see Yoda fight with a lightsaber? Tell me we do. Oh. So much power for such a little entity. Aww. Now fucking kill him. Powerful you have become, Dooku. But not powerful enough. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force. But by our skills with a lightsaber. Yes! Yoda with the lightsaber, let's go. Is it green? Tell me it's fucking green. It's green! Cause he's green. It's probably not the reason, but I like that. Damn! Boy fucking Sonic in the Hedgehog all around. What well you have, my old bad one. Now fucking slay this liver spot. Would y'all help Yoda out and move the hell out the way? She's uh bouncing around, yeah? Yoda, why do you need a cane and moving around so slow whenever we just saw you fucking pinball all across the walls and stuff? Force is with us, Master Sidious. Welcome home, Lord Tyrannus. Sidious is excellent. I thought it fucking Palpatine, Palestine dude, not Palestine, Pal Palpatine dude was that dude. Sidious. Okay, I'm a dumbass. I feel we should keep a closer eye on the Senate. I get that all the guys on the Senate had their judgment clouded, their force clouded, but it just seems like kind of a cop out. I feel like they would be able to sense somebody turning to the dark side. The shroud of the dark side has fallen, begun, the Clone War has. Wow, wow, look at that dude, that's crazy. I love the setup for the Clone War, so cool. I feel like this movie had a much better plot and story than episode one. Like episode one, it was cool to see all the new age shit and the lightsaber fights and all the explosions and stuff. This movie had that aspect too, but I think the storyline of this movie was also really good. Wait, Palpatine? This dude, fuck, is he the hooded man? I'm just an idiot, I'll accept it. I don't, I don't know. Are y'all getting married? With Goldman and R2 as the only attendees? Oh, you wanna see my finger work now? <laughs> this actually makes me really happy. Wow. That was sick! So that was pretty badass, dude. I think if I had to sum everything up, the reason that this movie was so good in my mind was because you got to see so many Jedis in action. Like, that battle was fucking sick. You got the origin story, kind, kind of, of Boba Fett and his dad. You saw, like, the Yoda battle at the end. It was just, it was a lot of fun things to see. Like I said, I think that the plot is really good compared to the first to episode one. But I do think episode one had bigger, more badass CGI moments. I don't know. I'm just super stoked to continue this journey. But one question that I have before we go forward is what is the best order to go from this point on? You got all these different shows. You got the third episode. Like what? where do we go from here? Let me know your best suggestion down below. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace.